first derivative is not going to be bad, right? First derivative, there's a product in there. All right, you got that x squared in the front. It's just going to be straight product rule. So our first derivative is not going to be too bad. All right, on the first derivative, let's try to do this without our ddx notation. Let's kind of kind of do it that way. All right, so let's go first term x squared. Derivative of the second, derivative of tangent is, you have it memorized? What do you think, Chris? Oh, you chicken, don't look it up. Secant squared x, yeah. Secant squared, yeah, secant squared x. All right, derivative of tangent is secant squared x. Do you see how important it is? You have to have these memorized because if you don't have them memorized, you, you can't do the problem. Okay, so that's why we're doing a memorization quiz. All right, plus the second function, which is tangent, times the derivative of the first. Can we do the derivative of x squared? 2x, that one's easy. Okay, so now on that, that technically is our first derivative. All right, but let's rewrite this so that it makes our second derivative a little bit easier, okay? This is two secants and two x's, but we don't care there. If we break this up and show it as three things being multiplied together, couldn't we do the extended product rule? And then this, we just need to probably clean up so that it is maybe, I don't know, in the front a little bit. So I'm gonna rewrite as x squared and then secant x and then secant x plus, I'm gonna put the two x in front just so it's written a little bit nicer there. All right, so that is the first derivative. I don't always relabel, but since we're gonna go to a second derivative here, that's our first derivative. All right, now what I'm gonna do right here is just what, another product rule. Oh, I can't spell it this morning. All right, here, we have learned the extended product rule. I'm going to abbreviate because I'm going to run out of room. So a straight product rule over here, an extended product rule here, and then we'll add this up. Now, do you see how long this is going to get? Okay. And I don't even know that I'm going to be able to get it all the way across. I may have to go to a second line. All right, so second derivative. And this is why you've got to keep track of what you're doing. All right, now what? On extended product rule, what? We do the derivative of the first one, and we keep the other two. And then we add to that the derivative of the middle term and keep the other two. Then we add to that the derivative of the third one and keep the other two. All right, so if we can keep that straight as we're doing it in our head, we're going to be pretty good. So I'm going to take the derivative of this right here, which is 2x, and then I'm just going to keep the other two. All right, now, if I'm keeping these two, isn't that secant squared x? So I might be able to shorten this a little bit if I go ahead and make that secant squared x. All right, now I need the derivative of secant, all right, and I'll keep these two. I'm going to keep them in that order. So I'm going to keep the x squared. Derivative of secant, do we have that one memorized yet? Derivative of secant is secant tangent. Derivative of secant is secant tangent. All right, so I'm going to write a secant and a tangent. And then i got to keep this secant. Because I kept the first one and the third one, took the derivative of the middle. All right, now I'm going to keep the first one, x squared. I'm going to keep the second one, secant, x. And then I'm going to take the derivative of secant, secant tangent. That whole thing right there is my extended product rule. So that's just taking the derivative here. All right, we ready for this one? Should I go to a different color now? Yeah. All right, so product rule. Are you all with me? First one, 2x. Derivative of tangent. Derivative of tangent is secant squared plus the second, which is tangent, times the derivative of the first, which is a two. So product rule in the end was easy compared to this first one.
All right, now I already wrote this as a secant squared. I can write this as a secant squared. I can write this one as a secant squared. So let's do that so we can see all of our secant squareds in there. So a 2x secant squared on the first term. This one will have an x squared, a secant squared, and a tangent. Because I just put those two secants together. All right, I'm going to put these two secants together. So x squared secant squared, tangent x, and then the rest of it, that one I don't have to do anything to, it's a 2x secant squared x. Now on this tangent x times 2, let's pull the 2 out in front, 2 tangent x. All right, now I'll go through and see if we can find some like terms, which actually I think we can. All right, both of these have an x squared, secant squared x, and a tangent x, so these two are like terms. And I can add like terms, right? All right, and then it looks like these are a 2x secant squared x, 2x secant squared x, so I've got some like terms there. Those two are like terms, and then that guy's just left over. All right, so which means I have what? I have four of these. So I'll have a 4x secant squared. I've got two of these, 2x squared secant squared x tangent, and I've got one of those. And that is our second derivative. Now.